thank you, Father. Lord God, we want you to be glorified in everything that we do, in everything that we say. God, we want you to get the glory out of it. Lift up your song right now.
Father, we thank you for this brand new year. Now, we are in a position of expectancy. We're not going to be hot in January and then, and then run out of steam in June. We saw what you did in 2021. And we know you don't go back. So we are fully expecting. We know you can do it. We, we, we have seen you move in incredible and magnificent ways. We are eyewitnesses of what you're capable of doing. There is no doubt at all within us that our God is a mighty God. So we have positioned ourselves. We know you're going to move. We don't think, my God, we... We, and we are going to flow with it. We're expecting, Lord. And so, Lord, just continue to use your word to prep us and position us. Oh, for the greatness of God. The greatness of God. Pour it on, Lord. And we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen.
Praise God. Well, you may be seated. Uh, all I need, what I need you to do, just, um, and you all do a pretty good job, just dial in, just listen to the word. You know, um, I've, I've um, it's certain things I'll say to you over and over and over so you can just get it, get it. I, um, if you can really walk with God and walk into the provisions of God, the miracles of God, you can't be around a lot of negativity. Amen. And um, uh, listen, listen to me carefully. You can't be around bad news. Amen. What did I just say? Somebody over here, tell me what I... Amen. You can't be around what? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And so Satan is the god of this world, and the media is designed to, to put out a lot of bad news or a lot of what if or this could happen. You know what I mean? And a lot of it is not like what happened, but they say, well, this is the trend. This is what we're thinking. You know, to put a lot of um, doubt and unbelief. Think about this. To put a lot of doubt and unbelief in the believer. Does that make any sense? Anybody? To put a lot of doubt and unbelief in the believer. Oh, come on, y'all. Um, and so what happens is I've had to learn over time, and I'm going to take my time with this part, is to, in order for my faith to be prime, if I, if, if I have doubt in my well and I go to draw, what am I going to draw up? Uh-huh. And so... What I've had to learn over time, and, 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 and in particular, dealing with the pandemic, I, I had to really, the only way I could really be up, I could be excited, the only way I could lead you, and because you, you got a spirit, and, and, you know, and you can tell, man, if somebody just putting on and just trying to make up something, or look, or trying to come up with a revelation to excite you that they don't even believe. You have a spirit, you can tell. And so um, I had to dial in, if I'm going to lead the people, I cannot be around negativity. I had to get that thing straight in my heart. I had to get that thing straight in my spirit. And so, I, man, I would avoid it. I mean, sometimes something is on and I'm listening. Oh, let me flip that off. I'm like, I just cannot allow any of that neg negativity to get in my well because that's what I'm drawing from. That's what I'm drinking from. And so, uh, uh, and so, what, I've, so what I have to do is kind of hide myself. I'm like, no, this I will allow in, this I won't allow in. I had to check everything at the door. You know, the scripture tells us casting down <laughs> imaginations and everything that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and watch this and bring it into captivity I had to literally handcuff every negative thought I said you not I'm man no I'm gonna shut you down now you will not uh, 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 and so I had to do that I had to do that so this is a very important point as far as, see, you got to understand some things going on in the world. And uh, some judgment is taking place. And, uh, you know, because there are people that get up, don't give God no reverence, no nothing. They think they bad. They think they got the money. They can do whatever they want to do. God said, okay, now handle this. You, you, you follow what I'm saying? And so now we got to understand we're working. We are, we are operating under two systems you 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 got you got certain things going on over here but you now you got to be listen carefully you have to see what's going on in the world the news media and all of that is designed to get you over on that side through your thinking because manifestation begins in the mind they want you to begin to expect certain things before it ever occurs 
So it's, all, it's basically like this. If you believe it, that's what you're going to attract to your life. I'm going to attract, I'm going to attract abundance. I'm going to attract increase. I'm going to attract, oh no, I'm not going down. I'm not going backwards. I'm not, I'm not because I'm not entertaining that type of life. Oh my God. Oh no. What God did in 2021, I know he don't go back. Oh man, man, oh my God. Did you see God do some amazing things in 2019? Well, let me go back to 2015, 2016, 20. To me, it's been progressive. I don't know what you've seen, but if you've been a part of this ministry, it just keep going up. And I've never seen it go up and then down. I see it just keep climbing. And 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 in whatever circumstance or whatever challenge, it's just like God is just, and, and me, and in a 2020, 2020, I mean, when all, uh, uh, when the pandemic first began, and, and man, people were rattled, we've never experienced, never saw nothing like this. I just saw God keep, he said, boy, keep your eyes on me. Is anybody listening to me? You remember the psalmist saying, I will lift mine eyes unto the hills? from which come in my help. What I'm sharing with you, you got to focus on God. If you focus on God, you gonna be just fine. But you gonna have to focus on God and don't focus on all this stuff going on around you. How many times have I told you that manifestation begins in the mind? If this world system can get you in a mode of doubting, you ain't gonna have nothing. That's what's gonna be in your well. Then when you go to draw, you're gonna be doubting all along. Well, I don't know, I, I don't, you know, oh Lord, okay Lord. Now, that's why you're gonna have to stick close to God and to hear what God is saying through his servant. You're gonna have to do that because um, it's a, oh man, it's, 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 so, it's so many things going on. There, there are uh, demonic forces that were not released in 2019 that are loose now. You cannot be playing games. Don't play with sin, baby. You, you understand me? You cannot play with sin because it's going to find you out. You can't do that. And, and you can't, you, the, the world want us in a lackadaisical way to receive the word of God. So whether you are in the house or you are streaming at home, make sure you dialed in. You can't be doing five things and get this anointing. That's called multitasking, you know. Well, I heard it. I'm kind of, you know, no, you need to hold up. Let me, let me, I need God. I need God to spiritually operate on me during this hour so I know how to deal with this mess out there. It's a lot of deception and it's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of mess going on. Y'all follow me? All right, now let's go. Um, go, go to 1 Samuel. Let's see what chapter here. Ver, uh, uh, chapter 17. You're going to have to stay positive, man. Stay positive. What did I just say? You're going to have to stay positive. So and how are you going to stay positive if you're around negative? Negative plus negative equals, but positive plus positive equals so I decided I'm going to just stay around good news, good report. That's bad. Let me shut that off. I, I can't, I cannot afford to take that bad news into the formula because I'm trying to win. And you know what? I'm not trying to just win. I'm trying to win every day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm one of those greedy Christians. I want to win every day. I want to smear it right in the devil's face to let that devil know that our God reigns. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know when you're winning, when you're winning, because I got winning on my mind, and when you're winning, when you're winning, you have to have th things around you to help you win. 
if, if people, some people don't go into a battle to lose, man, they're trying to win. They're trying to prepare. They're doing everything they can to get an advantage. Do not entertain the thoughts of the enemy to try to draw your faith out of you so when you need to use it, you ain't got it. Oh, man. You're going to have to discipline yourself. Would you hear what comes in your eye? Would you around? And I'll tell you another thing. You can be around a whole bunch of negative people. They don't have to say nothing. The vibe coming from them, the way they look at you. Oh, man. Now, I'm trying to just train you in some things that I've seen. That's how I remain positive throughout from March 2020 until right now, I've remained positive and I have results to back it up. And I'm, now I'm trying to tell you how I did it. I shut off every negative thing, everything that we're trying to come. Oh, I don't need to hear. Oh, you need to know what's going on. I know just enough, but I, I you know what? I, now, whenever you got to deal with negativity, I'll deal with it and move qu as quick as I can from it. Because I cannot dwell. I, man, I know that mess will try to pull me down. You can try to counsel somebody, and what you counsel them on or try to come in your thoughts. It'll try to pull you down. Well, you know, because now you heard it, now it's trying to tell you, well, what you know, hold on, that thing we're trying to go on with you. you, you, you come on, y'all, let's get real. And that's why, <clears throat> and man, you, 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 you can determine what you allow to come across. You, you have that right. No, I'm not going to receive that. I'm not, no, I, 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 my, matter of fact, I bind it in the name of Jesus. I cast it down. I'm, I'm going to shut this thought down right now. You will not manifest in my future. I'm going to shut you down right now. I receive are you following what I'm saying? Now, I just told you what to do. Now, listen to what I'm saying. If you, if you don't do it, and then you get terrorized by the enemy, guess who? Guess whose fault it is? Give me a mirror so I can put it right in front of you. Are you following what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the devil, he is as a roaring lion seeking who your adversary, the devil. That's what the Bible calls him. He is as a roaring lion seeking who he might devour. I'm trying to train you and show you how to avoid that negative, that joke. That you, man, he, he'll try to, watch this now. He'll try to suggest something to you. And if you receive it, that thing is on you to attract some other things to it. You got to shut him down. You say, oh, no, no, no. He, he, he is looking for a, um, he's looking for an opportunity to try to shut down your 2021. All of your potentials, all of the great things that God want to do, he's looking for a way to, to make you self-destruct. He's trying to get you, he's trying to get you to abort your baby. Oh, man. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. You know, he's a thief. Y'all know John 10, 10, right? The thief coming not but to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, but I'm coming that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Are y'all receiving? Y'all getting this? Now, I walked through this. I walked through it. I walked through it. I walked through it. I bet you look, my God, he's still positive. Did he have any challenge? Anything try to come in his house? Man, but he up here firing the word. He act like he ain't even living in what we living in. What's wrong with him? Because I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. Are you following me? So, I mean, I'm telling you, I, you negative thoughts. Um, I need to be, now, now, okay. Whatever victories you had, have had, that's what I meditate on. I, I'm thinking about winning, not losing. Now, now no, notice this. Notice this. That is to set us up for the text. Notice this. Anything that didn't go right, 
That's what Satan will always bring back to your remembrance. Somebody, can, can, am, am I on it? Notice he never tell you what went well. Oh, y'all, yeah. He always, always, continuously, whatever did not go right. Come on, y'all. That's what he brings back to your remembrance. Are you listening? That's what he does because you're going pretty good. Then he'll bring up something negative that didn't work right, where you failed before. And he'll bring that in the forefront of your mind and tell you, who do you think you are? Look at you over here. So what we're going to do this morning, we're going to flip the script. Instead of dwelling on what didn't go right, I'm going to dig up everything that went right. Every victory, every everything, hallelujah, <laughs> glory to God. We, so we're going to flip the script. So he tries to, now I'm going to tell you something. See, because he knows if, if, if that negative, if that negative mess if he can pollute your well with negative thoughts. Oh, man. Do you know one rotten apple was spoiled a whole bunch? You got a lot of good going on, but you get some, just some junk going on. It, man, I'm trying, I'm trying. That's the only way I knew to make it. But I'm like, no, I cannot deal with none of this negative stuff. I would just shut it off, shut it off, shut it off, and keep thinking positive. What are we going to pay off now? What miracle can we expect God to do now? I just kept walking and expecting, and sometimes I'd be on the phone with somebody, and they telling me whatever, and I, I'm like, mm, I didn't know nothing about that. Hallelujah. All I know is that our God reigns. Hallelujah. I said, our God reigns. You have to train yourself because there's extra things I receive. There are extra things in the atmosphere right now trying to pull you down. I'm supposed to be going up and not down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do, we're flipping the script, right? We're flipping the script. Uh, first, uh, first Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel 17, so, so, you know, okay, Lord. I've talked to different people that have a certain trait, electrician, whatever, whatever. And I asked them, when did you really learn how to do what you do? On the job. It wasn't in the classroom. Even doctors, they have a residency. See, they, 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 they sit in the classroom. That's one way of looking at it. But we need to get in the field to see this thing really in action. And uh, whenever you're dealing with a doctor, somebody just got, got out of school and they got two years of experience, go to somebody else. I'm, I'm just telling them, I mean, I'm, just, I'm just trying. It, it, it's, it's, no, I mean, I don't, I'm not saying it in a bad way. But uh, uh, a lot of things you learn through experience. The only way... Some of you may say, Bishop, man, why, what, man, what, 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 you seem to have, you, you got a lot of faith, man, man, you, you believe, my God, how do you believe all this stuff? Because I got some experience. Amen. 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 I'm tapping my foot right now, you just can't see it. Yeah. Yeah. I know what God can do. <laughs> I've seen God take a trade that I didn't go to school for and let an anointing come on me to do it for that assignment. Wow. For that assignment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Had me to do something I can't do. You have to be trained to do it. And he put an anointing on me to do it for just that assignment. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I've seen what God can do. I've received. I've seen what God can do. And that's where my faith is. What that's why my faith is. I'm just, oh my God. I'm like, oh, I know God can do this. I know. I receive. I know what God can do. But what? It, it only came through experience. And I'm telling you, God has done a whole lot of stuff for us. A whole lot of things. And all you have to do is meditate on all the good stuff and flush the negative. Oh, man. Hallelujah. Flush it down to come on. Man, I don't want none of this mess. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. See, um, what you meditate on has a whole lot to do with your confidence. I'm going to tell you something about your faith. You get to a place where you don't really, you really don't know if God can do it. And then you start treading along the lines. I, I, I believe he can do it. And then you go from that. Oh, I know he can do it. Uh, so it's, it's a, it, it, uh, but I'm trying to kind of give you the stages or steps. Of, I'm trying to help you to get to a place where you just almost, um, um, how do I say it? You, you, you just know. You are smiling at the beginning. Folk are saying it can't happen, but you know it can happen. They're like, ah, how are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. Just watch this. <laughs> Pull up a seat. Get your popcorn ready. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, I know what God can do. It's, it's, it, man, it's, it's, uh, it's, man, it, you know, and what's so exciting is when people, watch it now, don't, uh, you got to, you, you put your attention towards God. When people start doubting your God, you, when you pull it over, they're not doubting me. Hold on, they're doubting, they doubting the God in me. Yes. They, they don't really know their kind of relationship to me and God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, they don't know that God called me by name. They, they don't understand the type of relationship. My relationship with God go beyond the church. Yes. I got a one-on-one. -on -one. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You in 1 Samuel 17, verse number 32, when David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Y'all see that? Let no man's heart fail because of him, huh? And Saul said to, and David said to Saul, let no man's uh, heart fail because of him. Thy servant would go and fight with the Philistine. And Saul said to David, thou art not able. Oh my God. That's what we got to ponder this. We the word is full, man. This word. Oh, my God. You're not able. You're not able. You got other people sizing you up. And they don't think you're able. But they don't know. Me, me and God, <laughs> hallelujah, have some experiences together. Hallelujah. That's why nobody else can walk through it but you because that's the only way you're going to develop a, 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 a type of faith, a type of tenacity that will not be stopped. It's almost to me like a challenge. Somebody sit around, they don't even. I see, I've been some places where people size me up. They didn't know where I live. They didn't know the type of ministry I have. They didn't know none of that. They didn't know I flew in where I was. They didn't know none of that. And they're they just running their mouth and just talking. I'm like, they have no clue of who I can. Can, can, can I help somebody? It don't matter what color you are. I've been around some people who were another persuasion, and they just assume, but you don't know. You, oh my God, you have no idea the type of favor that I have with God. Are you following what I'm saying? Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell, tell you another thing the devil will do. He'll try to come around when you're trying to go positive and, and standing on the word. Then he'll try to tell you you're arrogant. Shoot. Who are you to give some advice? Satan. The one that got kicked out of heaven. Oh, Lord. Because of his pride. Hallelujah. How can he tell you about your pride if he, he don't? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now, verse 32 again, and David said to Saul, let the man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with the Philistine. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, but he a man of war from his youth. Mm. So, in a, in a sense, Saul is telling David, this man been fighting a long time. You, you can't beat him. He, 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 he know what it means to win. Matter of fact, we hear he never lost. So, how you gonna fight with him? You just a, 
You're just young. But what Saul did not know is that David had had some fights. <laughs> you can't know you're going to win unless you've been in a fight. Has anybody in here been in a fight? Now, I'm going to tell you, the worst person to come up against is somebody who's already been in a fight. You can't intimidate them. Talking about, you know, you know, you will be in school and they're going to sit around and tell you somebody, a bully, going to come around and say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat your tail after school. You in school. You in third period. You know, you got seven periods or whatever. And so you're thinking about it. They say they're going to whip my tail. Uh, but see, if you ain't never been in a fight, you might be scared. But if, but if you don't whip some people. <laughs> My mama told me the bigger they are, the harder they fall. You follow what I'm saying? And so you're not sitting around telling me, oh, they're they going to kick my tail. Oh, no, no, it might be the opposite. Matter of fact, they may have to kill me to get rid of me. They don't know who they dealing with. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, all you need is a trigger. All you need, see, and I'm going to tell you, about fighting a good fight of faith, all you need is a trigger to go off in your spirit. I thought about this the other day. You know, people sit around, and to get somebody to fight, you know, they put a, put a little, a piece of stick on your shoulder. Come on, don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. And then they, they just go pick a piece of stick up off the ground and put it on your shoulder and say, that's his mama. I dare you to knock it off. Anybody know what I'm talking about? And if they knocked that thing off your shoulder, you went ballistic. Why? That wasn't your mama, but they said it was. Watch it now. All you need is a trigger in the spirit. When I see the devil trying to disrespect God and try to belittle God and make God less than what he is, I go off. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, I did, the thing I love about uh, you all is that y'all know how to receive the word and not a story. Y'all know how to receive the principles, and then when you leave here, you got to walk out the principles. The prin I'm, try I'm trying to put you over the fish. All you got to do is walk it out. Walk. If you walk those principles out, man, that same, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you, I can, I can only preach what I have walked through. I'm trying to tell you literally what I did so you can do it. And when you do it, oh my God. People going to say, how old are you? How in the world did you get this far? Because I went to church and I, oh, I went to bed and got my sleep and I listened to a man of God with results and I applied the principles he taught me and here I am. Hallelujah. Now y'all remember, you can't do this dealing with something that didn't go right. You got to flush that stuff out. Oh, that was said a shoot. Man, hallelujah. No, no, not dwelling. The only thing I keep dwelling on, remember I told you this, I told you this 12 years ago. Whatever you focus on will expand. Come on, y'all, y'all ever heard that before? I probably told you that 15 years ago. You, you know? Uh, so what I've learned is I cannot, I have to run away from negative things and run into victory. Hallelujah. I have cleansed my soul of defeat, of what can't happen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, man. I, I, I've stacked the deck as far as it pertains to miracles, signs, and wonders. Mm. Now, remember, 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 um, see, experience, 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 experience. Experience, experience, experience. The only reason David had courage when he saw Goliath and ain't nobody else have courage is because his experience, his experience. Now, the old, the, uh, my, my seniors would say it this way. You can't, watch it now, you can't make me doubt him. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, why? Because I know too much about him. 
Oh, I'm going to work with this right here. No. See, because the devil trying to make you doubt him, but no more people, they say, hold up. You can't make me doubt him. I don't care what you say. I don't care what new little thing, formula you got. You can't make me doubt him because I know too much about him. I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In other words, they say, I've, I got some experience with God. Hallelujah. That grandma rock, she in that rocking chair, she just shake her head. She said, God, I'll make a way. <laughs> Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. God will make a way. Just like God opened up the Red Sea when there is no passage, God will make a way. It, 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 might, it ain't even no way right now. God said, I'll make it. I think, we, uh, I think what we have to do sometime, we have to understand who we're dealing with. We're dealing with God Almighty. He is the Almighty God. I've seen God wait till the last minute just to show off. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying. Just to show off. When they don't think he's coming, God said, that's where I'm coming. When they think they won and it's over, God said, that's when I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Glory to God. So you learn, you learn and you build your confidence uh, over time. You don't go fight no giant. That can't be your first fight. You, you're going to have to deal with some, uh, some other things to get your courage up. Let me, can, let me, let me, can, can I be a spokesman for God right now? I don't care what this world told you. They are a liar. God is in control. Hallelujah. Can I tell you another thing? You're going to live out your days. Can you receive that? I said, can you receive that? My God. That's why, man, I'm telling you, some of y'all going, you got to change some of these people you deal with. You can't be around, no, you know, if your doctor is all negative, you may have to get another doctor. I can't be sitting up in here with all this doubt and unbelief and, oh, my God. Talking about you don't know and this, and man, my God. Give me a believer. Glory to God. Glory to God. I was made to win. I don't, I, I mean, my, I, I'm just not, I'm not built to lose. I'm not built to do that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 33, and then so Saul said to David, thou not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and he is a man of war from his youth. And David said to Saul, thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out after him and smote him and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, seeing he have defied the armies of the living God. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the pole, I want you to hear verse 37, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And Saul said unto David, go and the Lord be with thee. God delivered me out of the paw of the lion. He delivered me out of the paw of the bear. And the same God that was with me, hallelujah, hallelujah, man, my God, the same voice. That's what I have to do sometimes. The same voice that called me in the ministry. The same voice, the same voice that give me all these messages to teach his people. The same voice, the same voice that let me know I'm with you, I got you. The same voice, I believe that. Yes. 
I want to tell something about it. The same God that was with you when they couldn't figure out what was going on is the same God that's with you right now. He was with you then, and he is with you now. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I will be with you always, even until the end of the age. You have to know that I receive. You have to know he's with you. You have to know that because there's a lot of extra stuff going on in the atmosphere to try to get you to doubt. Watch this. To try to get you to waver. Yeah. To pull you out of your faith position. To get you at a place where you're in neutral. No, I'm going forward because I know. I know I'm not going forward because I see it. I'm going forward because I know. I'm not going forward because everything has worked out for me. But I believe if I go forward, as I go forward, everything is going to line up and everything I need will be attracted to me. Can I help somebody right now? There are some things you need that won't come until you go forward because, oh my God, the provision will be attracted to your faith. I receive it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes people give you bad advice. They tell you, you know, no, you, you got to wait, you got to wait. There's too many risks. Uh, I, you know, I, you know, it, it, you just wait. You know, you know, sometimes you got to wait, but then sometimes you got to say, man, I'm going for it. Me and God. How you going to do it? I don't know, but I bet you, I bet you it happened. You better get a front row seat. Now, there's certain triggers. It's certain triggers. Now, what, what Goliath, um, um, when, you know the thing that Goliath did, when he defied the armies of the living God, it set off something. Watch him, listen carefully. It set off something in David, and it put him right there when he took the lion out. And he took the bear out. And he said, he's human, and this is an animal. Oh, man. If I can deal with what people would say, a man can't fight no animal. I took down two animals. Hallelujah. He ain't nothing but a human being. Matter of fact, he is less than what I already did. Oh, man. So that's why sometimes you're talking to people. Let me see if you can catch this. And they really don't know who they're talking to. You know who they're talking to? They're talking to all of your experiences. Every one of them. They're talking to every victory that God wrought through your hands. They, they sitting down now. You, you try and advise them, but they don't know who they're talking to. They, they, watch this. They got their doubt. They got their doubt and got all their stuff uh, on the inside of them. And, and they trying to, you know, well, uh, how do you, I mean, you trying to advise them, but they are, you know, they got some doubt and they're not sure of themselves. But they don't really understand that we ain't on the same level. What you trying to do, I did it 20 times. So I'm not telling you what I think. I am telling you what I know. There is a difference. You know, so you're trying to tell them, and uh, you ain't got to just jump up and down and get all excited in the meeting for them to understand that the Lord, the Lord, you know, all you got to do is talk to somebody that already went through it. They've already walked through it, and they know that the devil ain't nothing but a prey. Man, it just, you got it just, it just, it just, okay, let me try, I'm going to sum it up. Let me see if I can sum it up. Let me see if I can sum this up so y'all can get, get your breakfast. Um, <laughs> I say stuff like that when I'm high, you know what I mean? I just, I just say anything. Um, um, you cannot be around you can't be between two opinions. 
Remember in the Old Testament, they had, a, they had a showdown on Mount Carmel because people were between two opinions. Can I tell y'all something? Just because people go to church don't mean they're a believer. Some of your, some of your Lord have mercy. I'm, try, I'm trying to be not. I mean, just because they've been there, there some people have been in church for years and years and years, but they, 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 oh my God, they, how do I say it? They go through lie. They never take dominion. They never uh, have gotten in a stance of dominion. They have never gotten there. What they do, they just kind of go through lie and let life happen to them. That's what they do. They have never just taken a stand and just told the devil, watch this. He telling you ain't going to do it. I'm walking out this door right now. Me and God, we going to get victory, and I'm going to smear it right in your face. Let me tell you something. If you're going to do this, you cannot be scared of the devil. Did you hear what I just said? Did you hear what I just said? Some people have more fear, fear, fear of Satan than they have of God. I have referential fear of God. I know Satan is already defeated. I said, I know he defeated. Can I tell you this? He couldn't stop me and he can't stop you. You gonna receive that? I say, are you going to receive that? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See, um, let me see if I can close with this. Your faith has been developed and it is sure. Satan is trying to steal from you. There's some things um, um, that God has placed on the inside of you in a shore. It's going to bring in the victory for you, and it's going to give God so much glory. And, and Satan is doing everything he can to try to abort your dreams, to try to abort your destiny and some things, the seeds have already been planted and it is your harvest is coming forth and he, he don't want God to get the glory so he, he's doing everything he can to try to steal it. There's some other things I'm trying to get to you. Let me, give me a moment to ponder here this, just a second or two. Um, uh, I receive. It, it, I receive. Y'all going somewhere for real, for sure, for sure, for sure. There, there have been, this is something else the Lord was showing me earlier. You know, we were in a position where we were like, I think God can do it. We have some experience with God now. We have become mature believers. Oh, oh I hear you, Lord. Oh, man, how do I say it, Lord? We are mature manifestors of the promises of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, men, we, men of us, we manifest it. Others are manifesting. Others, and see, when you're mad, um, it, it never ends. My apostle told us, it's always more. It's always what? It's always more. Stay hungry. <laughs> I remember Apostle told us, I know it's a little bill commercial, but the revelation is there. Stay thirsty, my friend. Y'all follow me? Now, I'm dealing with the revelation, not the bill commercial. Stay thirsty, my friend. Are y'all following what I'm saying? I received your seed. So you got, to, you got to stay on it. Stay on it. You got, my God. Now, I'm going to tell you another thing, since y'all pulling so much. That, You start having victories. Then what I do, I do twofold. I'm going to go get more victory, and then I'm going to train more people to get victory. I'm going to run less. How about this? Let's run the devil out of Richmond. Just, 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 just run him out of town. Hallelujah. Because... We, we don't want to be a people just talking about it. We want to be a people manifesting it. 
I ain't got time to talk about it. We, we are going to just manifest and ma You know what? We're going to get some respect in these. We're going to get some respect in, 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 in these, uh, how, do, how do I say it? In these parts. When we walk in a grocery store, they're going to know. They're going to say, there they are. There they, here they come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand on your feet, God. We give you glory. Father, we give you praise and honor. We magnify you. Nobody like you. Nobody is nobody like you. Nobody like you. Nobody. Nobody like you in all the earth. And so, Lord God, we've come in this place. We are excited about this brand new year. And for thank you for just giving us principles that we can use, training us, not just rehearsing scripture, but breaking it, breaking it down and teaching us on the elementary level that the only way we won't have success is if we don't want it. I thank you for those in their 20s, they're listening, those in their 30s, those that are in this, in this building, and those that are online. I got some folk locked in. I got some folk locked in. I have some people locked in. They hear the voice of God. I have some people in their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, and beyond. They are locked in. They recognize this is not a regular word. This man is hearing from God, and this is my pastor. So, Father, I just give you the glory now and the praise, and I thank you for what you've done in this place. And, Lord, we tried to minister your word the best we know how. Is there anybody in here today that never received Jesus Christ as their Lord and their personal Savior? If you've never received them today, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Now, I'm going to tell you, you can't ride on the shoulders of your parents. Do you know him? Because you're going to move out that house. And before you move out that house, they ain't going to always be with you. They ain't going to be trailing behind. You're going to have to make some decisions. I offer you the Christ. There's one thing when mom and daddy made me come to church, but now, now you, 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 are, you are of the age of accountability here. I'm speaking to you right now. I offer you Jesus. He is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Will you receive him? Will you open your heart and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior? Jesus. I want to do it his way. We have young people being bombarded in school and otherwise, on the social media and otherwise of all kind of creative thoughts from evil men. Stick with the word. What does the Bible say? We do all this other research. Let's go back to the good book. Let me go back to the book where I'm going to be judged. Is there anybody in this house that need Jesus? Is there anybody that's straight away from the Lord, but today you want to come back? I, I want to, I'm going to walk with God. I, I'm not going to be ashamed of him anymore. I'm going to speak up. I'm going to let my friends know I'm a Christian. They talking all this crazy mess. No, I'm going to make a, I'm going to take a stand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Anybody need to be filled with the precious Holy Ghost? Will you come right now? Hallelujah. Anybody need a church home? The altar is open right now. Any one of those invitations. Salvation, you can come. If you need to recommit your life to Christ, you can come. If you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost, you can come. If you want to be a part of this ministry, you can come. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For oh, the battle belongs to you, Lord. Yes, I'm going to 
gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory. For the for these that have come in just a moment but let me give you this we spend too much time um, flushing this negative these negative thoughts and this stuff that's not of God that try to shut your faith down so we spend a lot of time trying to flush that stuff out but if you don't let it get in you can spend all your time manifesting. Anybody going to receive that word? Mm -hmm. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these that have come and we got those that are online. We have operators waiting for your call. And Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray that their lives will never be the same again. Satan, I just want to notify you, you're lost again. Thank you, Lord God, for your son, Jesus. Father, I pray now that the ministers will flow under the same anointing. And oh God, I thank you for precious people, precious people, precious people, precious people trying to follow God. So Father, we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Just go this way. They're going to take you in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless God. Did y'all receive something today? Are you, now, the, are y'all going to do what you receive? Are you going to do it? Okay, Lord. I'm telling you, man, you got to get this negativity from up around you. Some of y'all have real viable businesses, and you got some things really rolling for you, but you got somebody in there that ain't right. You know? And, and, and you trying to flow and trying to go forward and you got this, uh, everybody trying to be an optimist and you got this pessimist in the midst of the group. Talking about it's halfway empty. Get your, excuse me. Sound good self, you, you know. I'm telling you, man, you trying to go forward. You can't have this negativity up around you. Oh, I got something. Oh, my God. Mm. You cannot have people around you that you are, have hired jealous of you. have an issue with your prosperity and they on your payroll looking at you and, and, and so instead of them trying to really push it they trying to mm. y'all ever heard of the, uh, the connotation of somebody stabbing you in the back I didn't say they threw the they, threw, they didn't throw the knife if they gonna stab you they gotta be close Oh, man, come on, anybody hearing what I'm saying? You got to watch who's up around you. <clears throat> Bishop Thomas um, first built the building. He's gone on to be with the Lord. We had just built the building. He came in here while it was being constructed. He didn't see the final. Then he came in here, this course before we renovated and all. And he pulled me over to the side. I thought he was going to say, man, this is a nice building. You know what he said to me? He said, don't have nobody up around you who don't know who you are. And so, 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 so a lot, so, oh my God. You ever heard of something called envy? When people, it's like, the devil hates what you're doing. You're giving God the glory. And that envious person, if you have them in your camp, they're going to try to slip up behind you. 
and they are doing certain things to undermine what you're trying to do. You, when you have unity, your business can soar. But when you got somebody in there, they ain't right, they not flowing, watch this, here's the key, they don't respect you. Never hire somebody that don't respect you. You can't hire them and you the boss and they think they equal with you. Man, I hope that helps somebody, I hope that helps somebody. Get all this negative stuff over. Our, oh, some of, them, some of them might be your friends. Say, that's it. It's been good knowing you. I got to go. Some, somebody may have to change their number. No, I can't have this. Man, I'm having a good day, and they're going to send this crazy text across my phone. I need to cut them off from my number. Then I don't have to deal with all this negativity. So I'm using, using my faith, using my anointing to drive out the negativity instead of using it to manifest. If you're not for me, <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Your, your father, you don't need nobody that's there. And you try, come on, come on now. Come on, come on. Yeah, they, 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 can I tell you another little secret? Oh, man. Some people you can recover and some of them you can't. Because they already, they, they just, they just, um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope that helps somebody because we're we, we, we going to manifest. We're going to do some great, great things for the kingdom of God. And we cannot have the devil within our camp trying to shut down what God is trying to do. Amen. Glory to God. So maybe sometime we got to make some decisions. Praise the name of the Lord. You gave them a chance. You gave them another chance. You gave them how much time? How many more chances you going to have to give them? <laughs> Hallelujah. The, the, see that 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 is the determining factor. If you don't respect the authority. The, the, the position, the, the anointing, the favor that God put in you to raise that business up. And now you, and because of what you did, you were able to bring them on and hire them. And now the, 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 that, that's, that's, the, that's the straw that'll break the camel's back. If you don't respect what is here, mm -mm. sometimes watch them when they don't know you're watching. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Y'all can be seated. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we're going to bless God now with our tithes and our offerings. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. God is good. Now, we'll have announcements again uh, the following week. And we got to, you know, of course, the staff has been out on, on vacation. So, but uh, any announcements will be online. Anything we need, feel like we need to tell you, I'm sure they put it up there. The uh, LTMA Impartation Conference will be Thursday and Friday in Darrow, Louisiana, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time and 7. So that would be one, we'll be one hour behind Eastern Standard Time. You have to register on EIWM to be a part of that. Glory to God. Praise God. Just a few more moments and we'll, we'll pray over our tithes and offerings. Tell you, man, you if you if you get an average team unified, you can get more done than a whole bunch of superstars. Ain't none of them together. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. They tell me that uh, <clears throat> I think it was two years ago, and uh, what was that wide receiver for the? Uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He came from Pittsburgh. What's his name? 
Antonio Brown. They tell me that uh, Tom Brady told them, look, you can either be a superstar or win a Super Bowl, which one you want? Mm -hmm. He listened, they won the Super Bowl. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe he scored a touchdown in that Super Bowl, and he, he just all over himself after the game, crying and everything else. He wanted that Super Bowl. See, you, you want to be a superstar, or you want to win a Super Bowl? Glory to God. Come on, let's, um, let's lift our seats before the Lord. Repeat after me, I'm a tither. I'm a seed sower. This seed is pregnant with my harvest. I will never be broke another day in my life. Thank you, Lord, for debt-free living. The money just keep on coming. The money just keep on coming. No lack, but abundance in Jesus' name. I have more than enough in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. stand on your feet. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for what you have done in this place. Thank you that we are training for reigning. We bless your name this morning, God. Your word, just keep bringing it, Lord. Just, 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 show, just keep 
feeding, feeding us the truth. And we're going to make you proud. Hallelujah. We manifest it. We, oh my God, we know it can happen. We know it, we know it, and we thank you for it now, Father. We leave this place empowered. Thank you for a fresh word. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.